Hi, today I'm about to go reconfigure some beehives. I'm on my way out to reconfigure our beehives. We think one of our hives swarmed and it was the one that was going really fast early on and what I think happened is we didn't get enough we didn't add the second and third box early enough they didn't have room and they swarmed our first indication was spotty brood and then after that just empty brood cells they what was there grew up and flew away no new eggs now one of the issues we have is the hive we have left is a 10 frame box and the one that swarmed is an 8 frame box all deeps the 10 frame is a deep with two mediums and the bees have not built out much in the mediums. So we're gonna take all of the deep frames, the best of the deep frames, the bottom will be nectar pollen, the middle one will be brood, the top one honey stores. Between the two hives, between the deep 10 frame and the three eight deeps, three eight frame deeps that we have, we should be able to get 24 frames with resources on them. Honey, nectar, pollen, brood, drawn out comb. So that we'll have a strong hive that will survive the winter. Now the issue is I'm gonna have to move the bees from the 10 frame to the eight frame hive and put it back in roughly the same location that they're in currently. And I need to make sure that I move my queen over. Because if we lose the only queen we've got now, we have no hives for winter. But if we leave the bees where they are now, then they don't probably have enough resources to get through winter because they really hadn't done much in the top of the 10 frame mediums. So here I go, wish me luck. got the hive configured the way we want. Um, it was a little bit sad. Two frames of honey that were in the swarmed hive apparently got too hot and they actually melted down so we weren't able to transfer those resources into the bees. We've set them on the outside over here. Hopefully the bees will rob the honey and rebuild their stores inside their hive. Um, you can see they're still looking for the old hive but their queen is in there. So they will go where the queen is. And we're gonna give them a few seconds to get a little bit calmed down. And then Chris is gonna bump the rest of those bees. You probably saw him do that in the time lapse. Let's give a whack. Most of the time you don't wanna be rough with bees because you don't want um, to make them mad. But if you try to brush all those bees off, they're gonna get a lot madder. If you just kind of jar them, give them a good shake off, then they, they fall off, they fly off, they're all right. We transferred all the frames, all the deep frames from the 10 frame hive into the eight frame hive. I did not see the queen. Next year I really wanna get marked queens or mark our queens so I can always uh, find the queen. There's a whole lot of beads in there. They're pretty similar in size and shape and I'm not experienced enough to be able to spot the queen that quickly. So I moved everything over to make sure that we included her. And um, that's it. And then another thing that we're gonna do is at night sometime, we're gonna close up their entrance. We're going to move them over there, right by our house, by the garden. We thought we were up high enough out of the flood zone, but the last time we got that big flood in the field, the water actually came up to the base of the hives. It didn't go in the hive, but it was like this close. So we decided we're gonna move them. Now that we're a little bit more used to bees and how they work and um, right now they're pretty busy out here but normally they're not. I don't think they're going to be any problem. We're going to put them right up against the house. The house will be the north wind break and our garden is going to be just to the south of them. So it'll be perfect access. So we'll be doing that soon too. Thanks for watching everybody. Please 
be sure to comment and subscribe or, yes <laughs> comment any questions you have any comments you want to make subscribe it helps us out a lot give us a thumbs up let those ads play through when I'm watching other YouTube channels I try and let the ads play through because that's how YouTube works that's how we make money thanks everybody have a great weekend One last thing, you can see I'm kind of red in the face. I've already been outside to do the animal chores this morning and it's muggy. It's like walk outside, whoosh, like walking into a sauna, taking a shower. So I'm gonna try and get through this reconfiguration, hopefully pretty quick.